All right, what's up everybody? So as you know, Christmas is over, but for some of us, one day of Christmas just isn't enough. So in today's video, we're going somewhere where it's Christmas year round. Okay, well that's enough Christmas for me. I'm starving and inside these doors, there's an undefeated pizza challenge that even St. Nick couldn't finish. So let's go inside and check it out. All right, what's up everybody? I am here at Fat Santa's Pizza, Santa Claus, Indiana. So obviously we gotta do the Fat Santa Pizza Challenge. Now this is a 16 inch pizza, but it weighs out to six pounds and 10 ounces. They just weighed it. That's because it's got 16 different toppings and I'm gonna list them right here because I cannot remember them all. But there's no alterations on this, so we got everything they have. They got all the meats, all the veggies, and that includes plenty of mushrooms and pineapples on this. But I'm gonna have 30 minutes to eat this. If I do, I get the $28 pizza. That's a pretty good value. I'm gonna get the $28 pizza for free. I'm gonna go up on their wall of fame, and I'm gonna get an awesome shirt. So wish me luck, we're gonna dive right in. All right, you ready, sir? I am ready. All right. All right, well, we're going to go and get this challenge started. Uh, say three, two, one. Is that good? All right, we're going to get this started in three, two, one, go. All right, I'm going to tackle some of the big pizzas first. Mm. Hey everyone, and for those not yet willing to put the Christmas decorations away, we drove to Santa Claus, Indiana. Now we have been here hundreds of times taking the family to Holiday World Amusement Park just next door. Fat Santa's opened back in November. There have been a few attempts, but the challenge remains undefeated. No shortage of mushrooms, I'm already finding out. <laughs> and with 16 toppings, there was going to be one that I didn't care for, but hey, the show must go on. This is my kind of pizza, extra thick toppings, Cracker thin crust, that's really, really good. And you can hear just how crispy the crust is. It's super thin, but the toppings were piled high. Your sandwich good? And I was just checking back with him. He got a barbecue sandwich. He said it was so good they had to get a second one. Now with the pizza this thick, it does hold the heat still. And the smaller squares helped it cool quicker, but it seemed to make it more difficult to eat. Yeah, I'm not the best with spicy challenges. This is probably about the right amount of heat though. Now, it's the wrong amount of mushrooms. Now, I didn't mind the jalapenos or the pineapple, but the mushrooms were already giving me problems. Oh, my brother's challenging me. He said, no way you get it. Huh. said, no way, huh? Yeah. My brother in Louisville said, no way. I don't know. He's killing it. He's got almost the whole edge done. We're just at four minutes right now. Now he said there was no way it could be done and I enjoy the friendly banter, but I better focus if I expect to get the last laugh. So you've not even tried this yourself? I have not. I can't do the veggies. There's too many topics for me. Mm. And I don't think you ever do that word when I've been and that worried me when he said that he wouldn't even try it, but to be fair, from this angle, you can start to see just how thick the pizza really is. Tell you what, it's a darn good pizza. Mm. Now look how thick that pizza is. If I beat this, your brother's gotta come in here and do this. <laughs> That's right, Brad, you hear that? 
and I think he should come in and give it a shot, but this is where I change up the game plan. While I'm still fresh in the challenge, I want to go ahead and pull off and eat the top layers of the pizza. It's mostly cheese and all the veggies. The texture of the mushrooms were starting to give me a lot of trouble and I knew it would be way worse at the end of the challenge. So I decided to confront them head on and grab the pineapple and mushrooms by the handfuls. Throwing down is okay, throwing up is not. Yeah, we don't want any of that. <laughs> and I say that because the last challenger had to make a quick exit during the challenge. So forget the slices, we're just Right. So I've been trying to eat a lot of these toppings because it's a mound of them. I'm trying to get through a lot of these mushrooms so I can kind of hopefully coast through the end. There's just too many mushrooms. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I didn't even know you didn't like mushrooms either. <laughs> well. An extra one? Yeah, I know. Right? Delicious. <laughs> Man, I think these mushrooms were on steroids. Just look at these things. So, okay, I don't like to alter challenges. So, 16 toppings is what we went with. Now it's a fair challenge, but I'm still gonna complain about it. We're at 16 minutes, so we're halfway, over halfway there, and he's over halfway with the pizza. Can he finish it? Now Brad said there is no way it can be finished, so do you have any predictions? Let me know in the comments. So I think the strategy of eating the toppings paid off. I now only have a very thin pizza crust with mostly sausage and pepperoni. We have 10 minutes left, guys. 10 minutes. Everybody get on here and push it through. He's got a quarter of a pizza left, probably, maybe less. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't know he has to do the table clean. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just I did make a little bit of a mess. I am going to clean that up. I don't know where he puts it. As you can see, he's not a very big man. He doesn't have a very big stomach on him. I will in a minute. <laughs> this is how you gain seven pounds in 30 minutes. That's right. Hey, follow me if you need any more life hacks or dieting tips. All right. All the crust is done. Just a little handful of topping. That's seven and a half minutes to go. Let's wrap this up, get this challenge won. And I forgot my utensils, that's why I've been eating with my hands. I know some of you don't like to see that, I'm sorry about that. And I am very sorry for that. That is not how I usually tackle a challenge, but we absolutely left them at home. So that about does it for this challenge, and I want to thank everyone at Fat Santa's Pizza for the awesome pizza. It's a very fun place, and I will say, even though he did say you can come in and order this anytime, I would definitely call ahead during the months of November and December. This town gets swamped during those months for obvious reasons, and I can assure you that we will be back as we do go to the theme park across the road. I will leave a link in the description below so you can check them out, and I hope you do. With that being said, I'm going to get off here, let you finish watching the video, and as always, have a blessed week. Alright, let's get this for the last bite. Here you go, everybody start cheering. Oh. Where's your brother at now? Oh, nice calling you out. Oh, look at that. And five minutes and 25 seconds left. Not bad. Whew. Wow. That is a that's a really good pizza though, man. I tell you, you gotta try it. Alright guys, so that is the Fat Santa Pizza Challenge. Undefeated no more. Very good pizza challenge and it's very deceptive because it did not look like it was a seven pound pizza. But man, those toppings it really did add up. 16 inch pizza, 16 toppings, 30 minute time limit. 
It got a little bit tricky at the end. Lots and lots of mushrooms kept adding up, it seemed like, but hey, got through it. Uh, all in all, love the challenge, love the way it's all structured, very awesome. And anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave their link in the description below. If you're in the area, check them out. He's actually got two locations. Um, so you can actually do a, uh, you can order this pizza at the other location, but not as a challenge. And uh, anyway, if you like that, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, actually I am back. I wanna show you this. Uh, they brought me out my shirt, and I wanna show that off. Here's the bigger version, this is on the back. It's Fat Santa's Pizza, it's an awesome t-shirt. But they actually brought me out this specialty pizza that I've never heard of before. It looks awesome. This is called the Chicken Filet Pizza. So I think you know where we're going with this. This has fried chicken, it's got pickles, it's got a special uh, well, chicken, sauce. chicken sauce and the uh, waffle fries all on one pizza. It looks freaking awesome, it smells good. And I'm probably one of maybe 37 people in the US that's never had that chicken chain restaurant sandwich. So I've never had it. So this is actually gonna be something new for me eating it in a pizza form, but I've never even had it in a sandwich form. So I'm gonna give this thing a try as we get out here. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into this thing. Look at that. Get out of there. Got the chicken. It is screaming hot. Just came out of the oven. This has the chicken, the waffle fry. Let me go and put a pickle on it so I can complete the order. Here we go. That's really good, man. Oh, wow. How many people come here and order this thing? A lot. We have quite a few people that uh, once they've learned about it, that's all they wanted. Mmm. <laughs> that's really good, man. So, I love outside the box pizzas, and you hit the you hit the nail on the head on this one. Wow. All right, guys. I'm gonna get off here. They're they're still in my pizza. I gotta cut the camera because you're not gonna like what. I you're not going to see what I do to these people. Get off here. <laughs> Bye.